www.ponscape.us Heading over to the side. Not the side of my dad's ass, the side of the house. Next year let's cut out about half of these. Nah. Well, yeah, well actually like I said I'm, I'm trying to get these to grow back that way behind the bushes because nothing really grows back there anyway. So they are moving back in that direction, which is Let's what I'm looking out, to do. Cut them out from here. Oh yeah, that's fine. I could take like this chunk over here and put that elsewhere and just leave that more towards yeah, the back. Nah, we're always dropping seeds and stuff, so. Nah. You know, they're already starting to bud already. They're weeks early. Crazy weather we've been having. <laughs> Boy, this hollyhock hardly did any flowering. This yeah. that beef stuff when it started all over it. Yeah, it's strange. Oh. Most of them did that this year. Yeah, yeah. They hard, uh, they their flowers just kind of fizzled, but they are growing the seed pods. Very strange. I it really don't know why. I don't know. Anyway, here's some more of those ones that we got from the woods that we showed in the other video. They seem to be doing pretty well so far. Pretty yellow flower. Our four o'clock are Coming. blooming early. Usually they're not open for another few weeks. But they're out and about. Of course, it would be better of me to get shots of the side in the morning so that we got all the morning glories full out not really much of a flowerful view of this right now because all the morning glory flowers are closed up and then here's our little orange flower bushy thingy i have no idea what the name of it is called but when there's a lot of them together it looks cool got like your orange and red mixed together almost like a, a fireish looking thing and there's some more of the forest preserve ones we got marigolds coming up all over the place um, I planted them of course these are in the process of budding out and blooming so and there's more gonna be coming on this side we got a big ass one right over here that's got a big old bud on the top of it I don't know when that buds gonna open but sooner rather than later I'm sure This area of the garden is finally starting to rejuvenate itself because of all the different types of mulch and natural fertilizers and stuff like that that uh, we stick in here. So this has always been one of our worst areas for planting because the soil has just got way too much clay in it. Matter of fact, you can see the clay. See that brown spot right there that looks like someone just put a little dog shit there? Oh, that's actually clay. Part of the ground over here has got way too much clay in it. Sucks. But we are turning that situation around. Some more flower trees over there. And here's the view going this way. And of course, here's our little overhead, uh, you know, tree shots and stuff. We're really uh, tree paradise all over the place here, and we're always planting more, so, you know, it's cool. It's awesome. Well, actually, I take that back. Nature plants them, most of them anyway. We just, um, it's our decision to pull them out or leave them alone, really tree seeds all over the damn place, especially in the fall. Yeah, I should get some shots in the morning. This side looks actually a lot better in the morning. A lot more of the flowers are open. Right now, more than half of them are closed. So, because it's pushing into the evening right now, but yeah. anyway, 
www.pondscape.us.